here to talk about what unions want for the economy and from President Obama, Jim Hoffa, president of the International Brotherhood of Teamsters, a union with 1.4 million members. I think I have that right. So you have met with the president recently. You're going to see him again tomorrow on the sort of traditional Labor Day Detroit event. What, do you, what have you told him that you want to see in a jobs bill? We want a bold plan. Labor wants a bold program that's going that to rebuild mean something America. That's expensive. Usually, when people say, oh, "I want a bold plan," well, it, it means going, something it, it, that pours a lot of money. The answer is it's going to challenge America. I mean, so far, what we've done hasn't worked. We're still at nine percent, so it's not working. We need a bold plan. We have to look at what happened with Irene. Look, we have to rebuild our roads. You know, basically our dams, our highways. Everything's got to be redone. You know, our schools. We've got to start that. We need a WPA type program. Uh, but most of all, what I think he's got to do is to challenge business. You know, this is not something that biz you know labor needs everybody to be in the game. And what's happening is everybody's saying, what is Obama going to do? And what obligation does American business have? They're sitting on trillions of dollars right now. They're not spending money. We've lost 8 million jobs since 08. And we've got to start challenging them to get into the game. So another faction of what he should be doing is putting in some type of a tax incentive to get them to spend money, to get off the sidelines, get into the game, and start spending some of that money here in America and put America back to work. It can't be done just by the federal government. It's got to be done by all of us. And they've got to put aside labels to say a Republican, uh, Democrat. This is an American problem, and all of us can get together to solve this problem. So they've got to start spending money here, and instead of building that next factory in Mexico, build it here. Well, yeah, I want to talk to you about trade deals because the president also wants a couple yeah, of free does. trade deals that I know you were opposed to. But so, so what you're talking about is perhaps a tax credit for businesses Absolutely. for every person they hire. I, I don't know if you just heard, but Senator Jim DeMint said, you know, if they're going to hire someone anyway, sure, they'll take the 5000 but it's not going to induce businesses to hire because what they really see and what they really fear is the uncertainty of what health care is going to cost them. What they really fear is regulation that they don't understand how, how much bureaucracy they're going to have to build into their business and how much that will cost. Would you, do you accept that as a premise or do you think businesses are simply sitting on money waiting for what? I think businesses are sitting on money. Look at Apple. They have $76 billion in their checking account. And Which they're, not they're allowed spending. to have. And, and, but they're not doing anything with it. And instead of investing here, everything they do is in China or is in Asia somewhere. And the answer, look at Honda. Honda's building a billion-dollar plant. And they want to build it in Mexico. This is on the drawing board it's right now. There. Why isn't it? Well, we know that. But don't they have an obligation to America to build it in America? to put people to work here instead of in Mexico. That's what I believe in. You know, this is really, I think the president should challenge the patriotism of these American corporations that are sitting on the sidelines saying, why do we have high unemployment, but I'm not going to hire anybody. You know, they have an obligation just like the federal government, just like Obama. We've all got to get into the game. And I don't see that happening. So the trillions and billions of dollars that they have on the sidelines, they have money. Pfizer and General Electric have trillions of dollars overseas. Let's start repatriating that money. Let's start a program to get America going again. The, it, the problem in America is not that we don't have enough money. We've got more money than any other country in the world. The problem is American business is not spending it and not getting it in the game. That's how we're going to get America going again. I'm, I'm hearing tweets across the universe here because I want to go back. Are you questioning the patriotism of Apple for sitting on money rather yes, than I hiring? Are, yes, are I you? Am. Yes, I am. What is it with a company that makes 76 and they sell most of their products here in the United States? I mean, they're the biggest Apple, you've got Apple stores everywhere else. They get sitting on that kind of money, and every time they do something, they do it in China. They do it somewhere else. There's something wrong with that. Don't well, they, they have an obligation? Well, they tell you that, that the high price of labor and oh. the high cost of, of health care and the high cost of environmental, uh, you know, drove them out of the country. I don't believe that at all. Uh, you know, we have companies here that make a lot of money, like UPS. We have a number of great companies here that are functioning here that are union. Uh, Sikorsky, and they're doing very, very well. You can do it here, but the answer is you have to have the incentive. And so many companies like Mr. Coffee and, and all these other companies that have closed and moved to Mexico, uh, they're wrong. They're unpatriotic. We've got to turn this around and say, hey, we are an American company. We owe an obligation to America. Let's put America back to work.